Hello friends, I'm at Mr. Arno, and today my objective is to go through the New Line Q Pro Series interactive flat panel with you and give you an idea of its capabilities and just helpful hints, tips, and tricks that could help you be successful using this new fun tool. I am in a Google Slides presentation and I am presenting my board using the screen recorder utility of the board, which I'll get to later, but just be aware that's what we're seeing is the board as I am interacting with it. If I click in the lower left hand quadrant of the board, I can get my navigational tools when I have a presentation that is in presentation mode. So there are basic buttons in the lower left, or excuse me, lower right hand corner of our interactive flat panel. You have your power button, you have the volume control button, you have brightness, the home, which is probably the one you hit most, and then there is the settings button with the three lines. Those will be of use throughout your experience with the board. There are some settings that you may want to consider checking when you first go into your board. So back there, I'm going to click on the three lines, um, the button that's on my board to get to the settings menu. So I'm out of my presentation and getting into the settings of the board. The first one would be network and internet. In network internet, your internet should be connected to ISD Chromebooks. Make sure that that one is displayed or it won't work properly. The other one that you might check and see, um, the one that is probably the most popular would be toolbar. When you click on toolbar, that gives you the option to have your toolbars show up in the right hand quadrant and the left hand quadrant. You may prefer one or the other, you may like to have them both on or off depending on your objective. I'll leave mine on so that you can see that they exist on the right side and on the left side. Additionally, we have the power setting. The power is set uh, to turn auto off because I went into this setting and I turned it on and then I scheduled a power off time. I decided that at 6 p.m. on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, this board will turn off if it's ever on at that time. We don't usually want to schedule an auto power on time due to not knowing when our um, vacation schedules may exist. So, um, but the auto off is definitely advisable. Moving on to the systems menu. In the systems menu, there is a date and time option that most folks would like to check on. And that's the down, the very bottom setting is the use 24 hour format. That is on by default and set to the um, military slash 24 hour format. And so if you prefer and you're um, <laughs> teaching time to little ones, you probably want that set to the 12 hour format instead. Okay, I'm going to go out of my settings menu, I'm clicking the home button to go back to my presentation that I had going on for us. So those were the board settings. Um, the annotation tools button are um, in your toolbars menu. You can get to them by clicking on this red option which will give you annotation tools that show up at the bottom of your screen. And I'll get into more detail on those here in just a little bit. I'm going to turn those annotation tools off so that I can use my finger like a mouse instead. These are the tools that exist and that gives you a description of what each of them will do. And now I will demonstrate um, using the whiteboard app. If I click on the home screen, there is a whiteboard app that I'm going to enable to give me a digital inking space for me to begin writing with my students. So you can begin by clicking on a marker, you can choose a color, you can choose a thickness, and then you can begin 
writing on your screen, and doing your lesson. The marker also has a color wheel, so you could click on the color wheel to get a different color if you wanted any of those other customized options. This is a single slide, and I could click on the plus button to go to an, an, an additional screen. So this is my, my slide two in this presentation. And then I can navigate back to slide one if I need it. In the left-hand side, you have our three little dots. The three little dots are always fun and give you more options. When I click on the three dots, my favorite is the canvas option to give us a split mode. So now I have two surfaces. This person can be red thick line. This person could be a green medium line. And they can be writing at the same time on the screen. You can use your hand as an eraser tool. And it's supposed to erase with my hand. I might, in the split mode, have to actually use the erasers that exist there, or you could use the option to clear the entire screen if preferred. Also, you have the three more dots, which could give you a three split option. So now I have three canvases where this person can write, this person can write, this person can write, and they can all write at the same time if I had three hands. To exit that, I'm going to click on the three dots and go to exit and then leave this particular option. You have a export capability down here in the lower left hand corner. You can export this file as a PNG or you can um, export the QR code of this. If I click export, it shows you a QR code that you could use then with a phone or with the camera of a Chromebook to uh, take a snap of that and then you could get into the presentation that I had just built. Then alternatively you could share that file. Those files exist in a files section of your board. If I click on the home screen and I swipe up to see more of the items that exist in the board, Files is where they go, and I kind of like using files, so I'm going to click and hold, and I'm going to move it so that it is a part of my um, tablet options when I'm in. So I can swipe right to see more. I can swipe left to see what exists there. If there's something that I wouldn't use that often, um, these are all ones that I would use, but maybe I want to get rid of this option that I just put here. You could click and hold, and then you can drag it up to the remove space to get rid of it. But that files option should be where all of your files exist if you have any downloads um, that you have created um, recently with your board. Going back to our home button and back to our quick start guide to see where we're at, um, we have gone through the whiteboard tools. Um, I've not discussed the keyboard and how to um, use a custom keyboard and make it float. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to go into a uh, Google Docs document where I might be able to click in and then use a keyboard that comes up on my board. My keyboard comes up, and by default, it's usually even bigger than this one because I've been playing with it. But in the upper left-hand corner, if you click that portion, you get an option in the uh, on this right hand side to resize. So I'm going to click on the resize button to be able to make my keyboard and customize it to the uh, size that I want so that it's not maybe all over my board. It may or may not work because I'm recording and using my microphone right now, but there is also the microphone capability and you can tell it to you only this time and hopefully if it does what I want, it's going to type. Doesn't look like it is because I was actually um, speaking. So that is a bummer, but 
next time we can um, hopefully see that working correctly. <laughs> so I'm going to exit out of this to go back to our presentation and click on my home screen to get back to my new line quick start uh, presentation. So we have gone through um, how to make it float and now we're going to get into some of the troubleshooting. So hopefully you'll never have issues with uh, your boards, but if you do, um, these are some of the ways that we could go about trying to fix some of those. So um, one thing that I always try, and I'm going to make this bigger, is I might try to restart. You can always try to restart because that can fix a lot of things potentially. You have your power button in the lower right hand quadrant of the front of the board. There's also a little switch next to the power cord in the back and that's what we would call a hard restart which could fix uh, funky things if you ever come across um, your board acting finicky. If you don't see your computer screen when you're using the board, it could be that you've not uh, clicked the correct source or it's come off of that source potentially. So you can show anything that's on your computer screen with our new line interactive flat panels. And to do so, you would click the home button. You would then, sorry about that. <laughs> I shouldn't have clicked. I also would then click the source button that exists and then you would choose the input which is also which is most times a type C um, input so the USB C's are usually the preference. Moving on if you don't see that your interactive flat panel is accessing the internet, you could go to the settings menu and then click network and internet to make sure that it is attached to ISD Chromebooks. If your board is not allowing for annotations, you may not have your tool boards on. We showed that and uh, displayed that, but just as another um, Reminder, you can go into the settings toolbars menu to turn those on or off. As far as those tools functionality, we didn't go through all of those, but you can switch inputs. Um, you can click on the home button to get to the home screen. The inking tools on and off is the red one, which is probably the one that you would use most often. The whiteboard app gets you to straight to just the whiteboard um, surface, the, the space that we were um, kind of playing in just to have a digital whiteboard. You can click on the center to show or hide your tools. You have your quick access bars for some even other tools. Um, there's some other widgets and things that you can start to play with. There's the sound modes, a window select if you have multiple things open, and the exit application button. If you're annotating and you can't use your mouse to click, check on the bottom of your screen. If you see that the whiteboard tools are enabled, then your mouse is not going to work. You have this little red option that will enable these tools so that you can write or disable them if you click it again. Once again, those are just the tools and what they look like and I'm going to go forward because it went backwards before me, on me before. So um, the whiteboard tools um, may be on or off. Just look at that to make sure that you know um, if they're on or off. If you see that your touch recognition is turned off unintentionally, this is a nasty gram that I encounter sometimes and um, comes up unintentionally. And what will happen is people will mess with the sound button. And when you click the sound button for too long, it will disable all touch functionality on your board. To get it back, you just click the sound is again and then um, that has to be for about 10 sometimes 15 seconds then your touch functionality will come back on so that you can continue to use all of the fun touch capabilities of your board. If you have sound that changes to another device 
you can check the sound systems of your computer. In your computer, you would go to the field and the center lower quadrant of your screen, type sound settings to get to the sound menu, and then check the output section and make sure that new line is the one that you have selected because they have amazing speakers. If you have students casting to your um, interactive flat panel without permission, it could be that you don't have a setting turned on known as moderator mode. In moderator mode, the instructor must invite the person from the board before they're allowed to share their screens to the New Line interactive flat panel. And to demonstrate how you would get to those settings, you would click the home button, you would go to the New Line cast, and then in the New Line cast app, it has its own settings menu that you will go to and then you would click session management and under moderator mode you would toggle that to on. If your interactive flat panel does not allow casted devices then you could check for a system update and that would be in the system settings check for updates. We've not discussed how to cast with your new line, but I would like to go through those steps. So there are two ways to cast with your new line interactive flat panel. One is to use the follow directions on the board and use the, one is to um, use the app and follow the directions on the board. I'll have to change that slide. <laughs> the other way is to initiate the new line display note app from your laptop. For this option, you will need to download the new line display note app from the software center if you don't already have it. And if one way doesn't work, you could always try the other. In my experience, casting videos with sound works better using the Display Note app because it has an option to share audio when you initiate it. So going back to casting and looking at that, and uh, when I click on the Home button, there is the New Line Cast button. When you click the New Line Cast button, that is going to show you the options for how to cast. It will give you directions one way using just the internet by going to this web address, entering this code for today. And then since I have moderator mode on, it will invite you to present. You go to your computer and then accept the invitation so that you can begin casting. The other way is to start with just the display note application on your computer, which as I said before, I think is the preferred method and would be more reliable. Okay. That sums up most of uh, the most asked questions and troubleshooting tips and tricks. If you have any questions, please let us know. Um, the final thing that I didn't get to um, discuss with you is if I swipe down, there is a screen record option. This screen record option is what I use to actually uh, record my session today and is a fun way uh, to make lessons. Um, once you stop your recording, you have an option to export it to your Google Drive or in other ways. But that's how I made today's presentation and I'll be stopping our presentation now. Have a great day and if you have questions, then please let me know.